up guys, it's HMK once again with another Kingdom Hearts video. I know I've been lagging a little bit when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, but a lot of news has been slugging since the release of Kingdom Hearts 3's news when it comes to the D23 Expo. Anyways, this video is uh, going to be a very special video. It's going to be a spin-off of a subject I mentioned in What We Did See, Kingdom Hearts 3, Part 1, 2, and 3. So... What this video is going to be about is the worlds I would love to see in Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, as we know, Kingdom Hearts 3 is in development, but Tetsu Nomura did say that he doesn't know what worlds he's going to put in right now. Right now, he's trying to like you know make the game as great as possible. Right now, we've seen uh, Twilight Town and Destiny Islands, and that's it. So maybe those two worlds are going to be it. Now, note, this video is going to be about worlds that we have not seen in Kingdom Hearts 3 so far. So when it comes to returning worlds, I'm not going to touch upon that. I'm only going to touch upon videos, videos, worlds that we did not see in Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. And, you know, I just can't wait for that game to come out. That's my boy right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, and also, this is not a top 10 video, so none of these worlds really supersede the other. It's just a list of worlds that I would love to see equally in Kingdom Hearts 3. Not like, oh yeah, this is number 10, 8, 9. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. But it's not going to be numbered ordered. It's going to be just, you know, world, 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 world. So, Get on the hype train, let's look into HMK's most wanted world for Kingdom Hearts 3. Let's get into it. The first world I would like to see in Kingdom Hearts 3 is Atlantis, the Lost Empire. Taking a look at this castle in the middle of a great gigantic lake waterfall thing in the middle of a cave. I mean, you guys seen the movie, right? That place would be an awesome place to explore. Now, why would it fit in the Kingdom Hearts series? Well, take a look at this. Atlantis has the heart of Atlantis floating at the top or in the bottom. I don't know where it's going to be if they decide to put it in this game. But the heart of Atlantis could, you know, be something that Xehanort wants to help find Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 3. But we do know that the X-Blade, I mean the Keyblade, is what's going to unlock and reveal Kingdom Hearts. But maybe the heart of Atlantis is the heart of that world. And then the Heartless attack it. And Sora and company have to save the day. And as a partner for this world, I would choose not Milo Thatch. I would choose Kida or Kida Kakash or... Whatever her name is. Oh, and fun fact, another reason why they should put this world in Kingdom Hearts 3 is that the King of Atlantis is voiced by Leonard Nemoy, the same guy who voices Master Xehanort. Just so you know. The next world I would like to see in Kingdom Hearts 3 is Treasure Planet. But not just Treasure Planet. I want to be able to sail the Sea of Space. Or space on the spaceship. The spaceport. And, you know, all that nice looking stuff. Because when I saw this movie, it was beautiful. Truly the thing of dreams and wonder. And I will not name this world Treasure Planet. Since I don't want it just to be Treasure Planet. I would... You know, call it Road to Treasure Planet or Treasure Course or Treasure Road or something like that. Or maybe Treasure Space Road, something. And as a partner, obviously, Jim Hawkins as Sora's partner in this world. And why would this fit in Kid Mart's 3? Well, you know, maybe Master Xehanort and the new 13 Secrets of Darkness have to find the princesses because, you know... They can either fight the Seven Guardians of Light or find the Seven Princesses of Heart and whatever clash ensues from whatever party creates the Keyblade. But what if they go into hiding? The best thing to find that would be the map in Treasure Planet because that can either show where they're located or it can open up the warp zone at Treasure Planet to go find the Princesses of Heart for, you know, their organization. So yeah, Treasure Planet. The Black Cauldron. This is one of Disney's more 
darker films, if not the most darkest film from Disney. Now, uh, the world would be called, uh, uh, let's see, it was up in my notes. Give me one second, guys. Yes, the world would be called Pridane, uh, attributing back to the original books that this movie was based on. Now, of course, this is one of Disney's more darker movies with the Horn King and darkness and undead zombies, which the Black Cauldron could restore life to any dead person. And it's going to, you know, have a lot more mature themes, but I think that's what Kingdom Hearts 3 needs because Sora's going to be more mature, the characters are older, and, you know, the main enemy is darkness, and the Horned King is all about that darkness. So, yeah. So, and as for a partner in this world, the boy is too weak, and so, yeah. When it comes to a partner from this specific movie, I don't want a partner, maybe a partner outside of the movie franchise, maybe a random floating around Disney character like Beast and Hollow Bastion, or maybe a Final Fantasy character will join your party in this world. So yeah, the Bell Cardin, guys, let's do it. The next world is Underland, not Wonderland, Underland. Now I'm talking about Wonderland from Alice in Wonderland 2010 by Tim Burton. So you know how Tron's world space paranoids in Kingdom Hearts 2, you know, it went on to be not to become grid, but from the same movie franchise we got the grid in Dream Job Distance. I want the same treatment for Alice in Wonderland, you know, Wonderland, but in Kingdom Hearts 3 it'll be Underland. So we get like this new fantastical world or whatnot. And also we have, uh, as a partner from this world, Mad Hatter. You know, Johnny Depp once again. I know, Pirates of the Caribbean, Mad Hatter. Yeah, let's do it, guys. So the Mad Hatter will be your party member for this time around. And why would Sora have to go back to Underland? Hmm, I don't know. But I want this world to be in the Kingdom Hearts 3. So do it. Yeah, do it, Square Enix. I want... Tangled to be in the next Kingdom Hearts game, Kingdom Hearts 3. And now a lot of people are like, oh, Tangled, it was such a bad representation of Rapunzel and blah, blah, blah. Hey, shut up! I like that movie. I thought that movie was pretty darn great. So, who would be your partner in this, you know, world? It would be Flynn Rider. So, you know, you know tag teaming with Sora and company or maybe another person. But anyways, what would this world be called? It would be called the Kingdom of the Sun since they did, you know... There was like sun flags all over the kingdom, Rapunzel's kingdom, in the movie. And what would Sora and company be doing there? Well, maybe they need something from Rapunzel, like her healing powers. I know she's not technically a princess of heart, or maybe there could be extended princesses of heart, or some other jazz. And because we all know that Rapunzel, you know, is full of light. I mean, her hair freaking glows when she heals people. I mean, come on now. So, come on. Rapunzel, Tangled, Kingdom of the Sun, Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Alright, the next world up is a Princess in the Frog World. Now, why would they go to the Princess in the Frog World? Well, I don't know. Maybe they need to stop some evil, like the Witch Doctor and stuff and you know Tatiana she's a Disney princess not a princess of heart but maybe she will act as some use to the organization or maybe a f ally to Sora and company now as a name for this world of course they cannot name it New Orleans Louisiana I mean they 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 don't do things like that I mean they didn't name Paris Paris and Dream Job Distance they named the uh, city that clocks so what should this name be I'm thinking how about Passions by you or something like that. Yeah. So I do want Princess and the Frog, that world, to be in the next Kingdom Hearts game. So anyone else who doesn't think so, they can go suck it. Yep. Alright guys, her time is way overdue. We need a Pocahontas world in Kingdom Hearts 3. Why? Because Pocahontas was an awesome movie. Yes, it wasn't accurate, but still, I want a Pocahontas world in Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, I don't know how this would fit into the story. I just want the world to be in there. I know I should have done some more thinking, but I do want Pocahontas to be in that world. And as a partner, maybe John Smith? Maybe Pocahontas? I don't know. Someone, maybe. Yeah, floating up about there. 
So what will this place be called? You know, they can't call it America. And I was thinking about calling it the New World. But, I mean, all the worlds are called Worlds. And just calling it the New World kind of sound weird. So I would just go ahead and call it the New World's Forest. Or New World's Forest. Or, um, yeah, that. So, yeah, poke on us in the next Kingdom Hearts game. Come on, who's with me? Now, yes, we are segueing into a new era. Of course, I do not want Star Wars or Marvel to be in Kingdom Hearts 3, but I would not mind Studio Ghibli, and Studio Ghibli's first draft pick will be Spirited Away. I would like Spirited Away to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. So, come on, guys, who wants Studio Ghibli stuff? I mean, I think it'll be great, and of course, this world will be called Yubaba's Bathhouse. And who would be a partner to Sora in this? I think Haku would be a good partner for, you know, this world. What will Sora be doing there? I have no idea, but I just want Spirit of Way to be in the world. You know, they can find out something, a way to, you know, make it happen. Maybe... I don't know. Yeah. Spirit of Way. Spirits. Yubaba's bathhouse. Haku. Yep. Now, last but not least, we're still going into Studio Ghibli. I would want Howl's Moving Castle to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. A lot of people are like, oh, why not Princess Mononoke? Uh, have you seen that movie? It was great, but damn, that shit was bloody. So, yeah, Princess Mononoke, nah. But Howl's Moving Castle, yeah, let's do it. Howl's Moving Castle, guys. So, what would this place be called? I don't want a world based on Howl's Moving Castle to be called Howl's Moving Castle. Probably Realms at War, since, you know, the whole war going on with the movie and stuff and who would be your partner i was thinking howl but i mean the story was not really about him yeah he was a central character it was more about sophie and sophie is definitely not a character that can be you know fighting alongside you but maybe an outside character could be your partner in this world a Final fantasy character a disney character looming around i don't know but i would like to see house moving castle in kingdom hearts 3 so yeah there you have it. That's it. Alright, so those were the worlds I would love to see in Kingdom Hearts 3. What about you guys? What worlds, what lands, what characters would you like to see in Kingdom Hearts 3? What do you want from the game? Come on, let me know in the comments below, say a world, a list of worlds, I don't know. I read them, and it's fun. Get on the fucking hype train, guys. Kingdom Hearts 3, it's coming. It's coming. So, until the next video on Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 3, or all that other jazz, keep it here at HMK's YouTube gaming channel. The most hectic gaming channel on all of YouTube. And until next time, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.